Hey, it's Cody Askins, and the number one thing I get asked is what should my morning routine be to start to level up and become a better version of me, reach my full potential, become a six-figure earner, seven-figure earner, whatever. I'm here to tell you there's eight things I do every single morning, and these specific things made me a millionaire before I was 30, and I promise you, they can help you level up. Before I share what they are, here's what I wanna talk about really quick, okay, and then I'm gonna jump into the eight. Okay, but w w really the reason I believe these are super powerful and are gonna continue to help you level up and become a better person is because the fastest way for you to have a great year is to have a bunch of amazing days. Well, how do you have a bunch of amazing days, right? How do you culminate days, weeks, months into this career, phenomenal, record year, whatever? How do you do that? You do it by getting really good at being fully awake and alive and becoming your best self so you can maximize your day. You wanna be more successful, you wanna reach your full potential, right? Like if I were to ask you right now, like, hey, who wants to be more successful? Most people would raise their hand. Next question, what are, if you picture somebody that's successful, what do they do? Like if you start thinking about somebody that's super successful, what are some of the things that they are doing every single day? Maybe it's workout, maybe it's, you know, they, they eat healthy, maybe they read, right? Maybe they get up early, you know, you know what I mean? Like meditate, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? There's these things they do, okay? That, that you, we've heard of, you know about, write down their goals, all these things, okay? And so the reason I do these things is if I don't do these things and I walk in the office, my team will know that I did not do these things and I'm not fully alive and awake. And then if I'm not, I'm going to have worse days, right? Worse days. I do not want to have bad days. I want to be fully alive. I want to captivate and capitalize on every single moment. And so this is why I do these, right? So I'm up, I'm up at, um, I don't really count getting up, but I'm up at normally five, 5.30. Um, when I get up, I go for a walk um, and on, either on the treadmill or outside, sometimes 10, 20, 30 minutes. The other day it was an hour, right? But, but I, I walk because um, a body in motion, stage in motion, uh, walking wakes up my body right, and gets me thinking quicker on my feet, which is good. Okay, the second thing I'm doing, uh, I'm walking through our new office as we're painting and setting up, and we'll have a huge giant sales room and all this. Got my painting over too. Um, I am, second thing I'm doing is I'm, I'm writing down my goals every single morning. You're 900% more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down every single day. So what are you writing down? Are you writing down anything? Are you writing down goals if you're not, you should be because you're 900% more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down every single day. So the second thing is goals. I'm writing down goals every single day. Third thing, um, I'm taking supplements. I have these five different supplements that I take, increased testosterone and like different things, right? Vitamins, calcium, all this stuff, right? There's different, different supplements, whatever they are. Uh, that that like a like healthy organic type doctor was like, hey, we did like a crazy 40 page lab test and they're like, you need these five to raise some of these areas that you're weak at. You need these five supplements. So I'm taking supplements, okay? Um, I'm also doing a cold shower, which some of you are gonna think is freaking nuts, but I do it for a few reasons. One, sure it's good for you, but it wakes me up like nothing else does, okay? wakes me up like crazy and what's cool about it is also it forces me to do something in the morning that I don't want to do most people were like hey you do whatever you want you don't have to do you don't you, you can do whatever you want you don't have to just do certain things like if you don't want to do something don't do it no no no. I'm a firm believer that if you want to be successful you have to do things that you don't want to do which is why I force myself to do the cold shower every single morning for about a minute or two of ice cold water at the end of my shower because it makes me feel more alive and wakes me up. Okay, is it a little, a little unorthodox? Yeah, is it a little freaking nuts? Yeah, but dude, I, I don't wanna be normal. I don't wanna be average. I, I, I would rather be unorthodox and psycho and crazy than normal like everyone else. Okay, so the cold shower, dude, it wakes me the freak up and it forces me because if to do something I don't wanna do because if I'll do that, if I'll, if I'll do the uh, cold shower, then I will do the phone, the phone call I don't wanna make is easy because I already did the cold shower. Okay, so that's number four. Number five is I'm doing 100 push-ups every single day. Today was day 310 
out of 311 days. I missed one day. I went 265 days in a row of 100 push-ups a day. I missed a day, had to start over. I think I'm a day 45 in a row back now, something like that. I'm at like 310 days out of 311 days of 100 push-ups. Okay, that's something I committed to. I wanted to increase um, overall muscle mass upper body, biceps, chest, abs, etc. So I committed to push-ups. Um, number six is plank, one minute plank or abs every single day. Um, we think I may have like a torn abdomen or like a hernia or something, uh, which is weird, but, but I've been doing abs every day except for one the whole year. I guess I did take a week off because of just some uncomfortableness in my, in my gut, but otherwise doing a bunch of abs. Um, and work out every day. Okay, so that's six I think I'm at. Um, I'm also shooting, I'm also doing prayer. This is seven, I'm doing prayer every single day. Um, and it's, yeah, I'll pray with my wife, but also do like a solo prayer, okay, so that I'm physically spending time talking to God, asking for, um, thanking him for all the blessings we have, what I'm grateful for, here's what we're working on today. Here's, you know, pray for our team today, pray for our travel, pr pr like every time I forego up and speak, I pray. Like, I'm like, hey, pl please use me to be an inspiration, to provide hope and, and inspire others to reach their potential, allow my words to inspire them, to come across confident but humble and to wake them up and snap them out of being a normal average human being, okay? So prayer is seven. And then number eight is I shoot a one, um, 60, one 60 second video every single day. Okay, we put out um, normally 14 to 21 short video clips per platform on six different platforms every single week, like 100 videos, 120 videos every week. And it's if you include all the platforms, right? And it's because I believe in the I believe in the power of building a brand and social. You guys have been seeing this. I'm not even eight years yet of building a brand, but I've been pounding away at this thing every single day. So those are the eight. Okay, I literally went through first five, last three, eight total specific things that I do every single day to make me the best version of me. If you've never made six figures, your morning routine will fix it. Okay, I promise you. It's the number one thing you can do. One of the things I need to add is read more. I listen to some books and do some different stuff. I need to add the reading piece. I don't do that as much as I should. Full transparency, I'll be vulnerable, that's the truth, okay? However, I'm telling you, you wanna become freaking sharper, more focused, more driven, more alive, more awake, and you wanna get closer to reaching your full potential and start to stack up some wins and make some dough. Have a morning routine, even if it's like I'm gonna walk around the block, okay? These are my eight. I don't know what they are for you, Okay, but one day, if you start doing the eight, maybe you'll be a Jaguar and there'll be money flying all over the place. Uh, we're moving into a new 6,500 square foot office, which is really cool. Um, and I'm telling you, this not only maybe six, having a morning routine changes the game. Scout's honor, okay? Like you're 900% more likely to achieve your goals if you write them down every single day, right? Made me six figures at 20 years old, made me a millionaire before I was 30, and now, We'll do over $20 million in total business revenue this year. Promise you, if I can do it, anybody can do it. If I can ever help you, if you ever need help with like marketing or appointments or training, you want to speak me to speak to your team or speak at your event, or you want to spend some time together, right? Or you want us to manage your social media or help you build your brand, any of the things that we do, you can go to CodyAskins.com to check out what we do. You can always email me, Cody, at CodyAskins, if I can ever help you. Uh, if you haven't made six figures, I want to inspire you to make six figures. If you're making six, I want to inspire you to get to seven. Okay, it took me a while to get to eight of total revenue. I'm about to get Cody Askins LLC. We'll do about um, eight million bucks this year total. We'll do an excess of 10 next year. But I'm constantly looking for ways to increase my lid right? John Maxwell says the law of the lid, like you can only go as far as you believe you can go. The morning routine tricks me into believing that I can do anything. So I want to inspire you and challenge you to start to think about this routine. Appreciate you watching. Make, make sure you're subscribed and we'll see you on the next video. And maybe when we see you in the next video, maybe you'll be a six figure earner or a seven figure earner because you started actually implementing a daily routine when most people on the planet don't. Appreciate you watching. Let me know in comments below what you think. And we'll see you next time.